Responses, the member for Guelph. Thank you, Speaker. It's an honor to rise today and say thank you to PSWs for the vital work you do caring for our loved ones in our health care system, in our long-term care homes, and in people's homes so they can age in place. Speaker, I will never forget the first wave of the COVID pandemic last year at this time when we saw photos of PSWs wearing garbage bags for PPE, when people were desperately calling my office and I'm sure many members, if not all members' offices in this House, begging for access to PPE. Speaker, we can never let that happen again. And it starts with treating PSWs with the respect and dignity they deserve. If we're going to call them heroes, we have to treat them like heroes. And that begins by offering a permanent pandemic raise. Don't let it expire in June. Pay PSWs what they deserve. It's not right that in Toronto, if average PSW has to work 50 hours a week just to pay the basic cost of living, no extras, just the bare minimum. It's not right that only half of PSWs have full-time work. So let's guarantee them full-time work, full-time benefit, and living wages in proper working conditions, Speaker. I mean, one of the things that came out of the Long-Term Care Commission report, the military report, and all the other reports, I think RNAO told me there's been 35 reports in the last 20 years in long-term care, is that we have to improve working conditions. We can't wait four years to do this, Speaker. We have to do it right now. We need to hire enough staff to provide a minimum standard of care four hours from now. We have to ensure that PSWs who care for our loved ones at home are paid for their travel time. In many places in Northern Ontario, they actually make less money than somebody who works serving drinks at a bar because they don't get paid for their travel time. So let's treat these heroes like the heroes they are, Speaker. Thank you.